Hey guys, so this is the video on the higher self. I have a lot to say, so I'm just going to get straight into it, which I'm going to start with, this is going to sound unrelated, but I saw an advert last night, and it was an advert for a, a well-known glucose drink. They call them energy drinks. Now, I know these drinks to be full of sugar, and full of chemicals, one of them being aspartame. I don't need to say anything on aspartame. There's so much info out there right now, so you can go and check it out. So anyway, on this advert, there's a load of kids, you know, skateboarding and everything, having fun, full of energy, full of life, full of vitality. And then the glucose drink comes on the screen and they're drinking it and stuff. It's an NLP technique that the corporation is using on you. NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. So what they want you to do is to associate vitality and energy and having a good time with their brand. So you see the image, good time, you see the drink, and your brain makes a neuro association with that product. So you see that product in the shop and it generates that feeling of good times again. So my point is that these corporations are using these techniques on you which I don't necessarily see a problem I wouldn't see a problem with it if the product itself actually serves you these products do nothing but to eventually give you diabetes if you are taking in these high sugary drinks let alone what aspartame does to you and stuff so in my view they're out of integrity and one of the reasons why I left the gym is because I was put into a position where I had to put these products onto the clientele in the gym when I wouldn't even take the product myself the other gym instructors wouldn't even take those powders and stuff which are full of chemicals, those corporations don't have your health and your best interests at heart. When these companies sit down at a desk, number one on the agenda is how do we market it? Okay, we'll get this guy in the gym with his six pack and everything. That's their number one agenda is how do we market it? How do we sell profits? And <laughs> I could go on and on on and on about this whole thing about what's wrong with the world and all of that and it's important that while I'm saying this be aware of the them versus us don't get tied in with this them versus us because you're gonna get into a situation where you're trying to fight fire with fire and all it does is it gets you wound up and it gets you angry Everything just is. Language, our language doesn't really do a good job at putting things across. Everything just is. Those are just words, but what does that mean? It means that you want to validate everything. Everything in the universe, there is yin and yang. So everything serves its purpose, and this is just where humanity is at right now on earth and it has its place you want to validate both the light and the dark but you get to choose your preference if you prefer the light then you get to choose that frequency but you don't have to Ill invalidate those that choose the darkness because you're going to lose your energy it will take you off center if you try to engage them in a battle it doesn't mean that you can't put your point across and put your point across into the world Gandhi said be the change you want to see in the world when you change you're gonna change your frequency and that frequency you offer to the world and you offer it in love because they get to cho either choose that frequency if they want to or they can choose not to. Everybody has free will. 
I'm going to share with you the rubber band analogy. If you imagine pulling a rubber band and it's going further and further and further and further so far into the darkness that when you eventually feel that you've had enough of this darkness and you let go, you'll be flung that further and faster into the light. And that is what is happening on earth right now. You're seeing this acceleration into the light, into a... People are just fed up of... <laughs> I was going to swear then, but this is what it generates, this kind of, we are fed up with this bull crap being beam into our living room trying to force products into our faces that is going to give us diabetes <laughs> so people get very passionate about this but can get lost when you start trying to fight fire with fire so I have to be careful I don't get off onto a tangent right now but point being that it serves its purpose this comes into play in relationships as well when someone is there's a drama between two people this person the troll if you want to call them that saying something to you yeah and you're in this drama with them this represents the rubber band by the way now when you're unattached to the thoughts going in, on in your head, this is where it ties in with meditation. Becoming the observer, you'll be able to just let go of that elastic band and it's just going to hit them in the face. Not that you want to hurt them, <laughs> but if they're winding you up, and you, you know, it's not because you want to hurt them, but what I'm pointing across is how people react to me is their karma. How I respond to them is mine. So they have to deal with that when you let go. That's their stuff. And when you can maintain that sense of unity and love, you can lead by example and you can validate them so that they realise that they don't have to be an ass with people and they don't have to be haters and negative all the time they do it out of fear because they don't feel connected to source they don't feel unconditionally loved that's what motivates them to do that and they're free to do that until they realize that they are a part of the whole we all are so I started the video with that because I want to show to you that these organizations are using these techniques on us, not us against them, but you get my sentiment here. So why not, why not use it, this stuff that is out there? This is the information age. I think we take it for granted sometimes, but you type it in in Google and it comes up. These things, NLP, EFT for a start, tapping on your face. Hey, I thought it was a load of crap to start with. I mean, who'd have thought it? Tapping on your face, talking about your problems. I felt pretty stupid in my first session of EFT. That's one of the things that we tapped on. I feel really stupid sat here talking about this problem while I'm tapping on my face. And then when you let go of that when I was able to let go of that I was able to get the benefit of it sometimes we have an attitude over something because we either because we fear the unknown or we just become comfortable with our own uncomfortableness I could come up with more if I think about that reasons why we do things that doesn't serve us so I wanted to say that to show you that how some of these concepts yeah at first they sound like they're really far out I heard guys talking about the higher self and stuff 
And you know, all of us to a certain degree, we all like to think that we know that we've got it going on somehow that, yeah, oh, this is probably a load of crap, you know, well, what can that really do for me? I had that kind of an attitude towards the higher self and um, didn't want to, I don't know, maybe the cockiness in me didn't want to think that they knew something that maybe I didn't. So anyway, I've dropped that rubbish now. It's about what works. And I've listened to people talk about the higher self. I've incorporated it into my life. And I've got the results from it, which is all I need. And that's the important thing, is if you can incorporate it in, in your life, apply it. If it works, great, use it. If it doesn't work, at least you know you actually listened and you actually applied it. So anyway, that was just another introduction to the next video you're about to see on the higher self I hope you got something from that guys uh, another excuse me another video I'm also going to do is East and West and how they're actually going to be coming together now Eastern philosophy and the Eastern way of life and the Western uh, way of life coming together so they're not fighting against each other and that's actually kind of religion and science is actually going to be coming together. So it's an exciting time to be in right now. Even though there's a lot of bull crap on right now, injustice and stuff, the birds are still singing. There is beauty in the world. Don't lose sight of that. I know it can be very frustrating when you hear all these stories about depopulation and genocide and stuff that's going on right now but don't lose that joy that happiness there's a time for everything there's a time for empathy sometimes as well when you see the starving people right now just making this video five children probably died somewhere in the world because they didn't have access to clean water I'm aware of what is going on in the world and I endeavour to become more compassionate and to have more humility in my endeavours with meditation and stuff. I don't really care what other people think about me because I know what my life is about and that's all that matters and I say that for you also. You know what your life is about. You know what your motive is for what you do that's all that matters don't let anybody tell you other, otherwise there isn't a single being on this planet that can tell you what is right for you you know what is right for you you are the lawgiver your human rights can't be given to you you are born with those human rights i'm going to stop there I hope you got something from it. As always, peace. Catch us on the next video.